Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thought I'd leave the clap in there so that you saw what I was doing. I won't do that for any of the other videos. So today is the second of two videos on how I produce these videos. Very meta, right? It's, it's the information about the information. It's very meta. Uh, yesterday I showed you actually how the videos were recorded, edited, the bumpers were put on both ends, the little animated pieces, the audio was, was managed. So if you haven't seen that yet, go back and check it out. And now uh, I let it cook, let it export, let it publish to YouTube for eh, about 20, 25 minutes. And here we are. This is uh, back on the screen. And you'll notice now that there is a black upward facing arrow. And that tells me that uh, it's been uploaded to YouTube and it's ready to go. So as far as we're concerned now, we don't need ScreenFlow anymore. So I'm just going to go to the quit item and I'm going to quit ScreenFlow. And uh, do I wanna save changes? Yeah, I wanna save the changes. Absolutely, I wanna save the changes. So now I've got a browser open and I'm just gonna switch quickly to BB Edit. I still have BB Edit open. We're still working on that first video, uh, but we're gonna go back to YouTube. You can see that now the workflow for, for producing these videos so far, part one, is ready to be, uh, uh, to be released on April 29th, 2019 at 7.30 p.m. It's scheduled. I scheduled it when uh, I showed you how to do that in the other video. So now what we want to do is we want to do a couple of things kind of at the same time. I want to create a blog post that will, uh, will house the video. It's going to be uh, stored on YouTube, but it's going to be played both on YouTube and on my blog at viotogogo.com. So I'm going to go over to uh, one tab over where I have the post that is going to publish as I'm recording this the day before that first video. And all I do here is I basically grab uh, add new, which is uh, a new post, and I drag it up here and it will create a new post for me. So if you'll notice on this post over here, it says scheduled for April 27th. And so what I'm going to do with the new post, and it's scheduled for half an hour after I um, uh, publish the actual video itself on YouTube. So the video is going to publish on YouTube at 730. And then this blog post, which contains the video, will publish about a half an hour later. So let's go to that new ad post thing and start to populate it. If you're not familiar with how WordPress works, uh, I'm going to go over to my BB Edit. I'm going to grab the title again. It's the same title that I use for the video. I'm going to copy that. I usually use uh, keyboard combinations, but I'm going to go to the menu so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to paste it. So that's that. I'm going to go down to the body of the uh, of the thing. I don't need this part. That only goes on YouTube. What I need is this. That's the body. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that in here. And then I'm going to hit return twice. And I'm going to do something very similar to what I did when I added those tags in the video. I'm going to type a short code that's going to pop in a whole bunch of text. And that short code is OAD, and it stands for one a day, right? Now, OAD is not a word, but when I type that and then I hit the space bar, watch what happens. Boom. It fills in a whole bunch of uh, stuff that I need. All of this right here is what replaced OAD, right? And this is the iframe that contains the video. This is uh, the toggle for the episode list, if you've noticed that. And this is the toggle for the captions. Now, there aren't any captions yet, but that's okay. We're using that. And then this right here is the, uh, the video number over on YouTube, the code for the video on YouTube. I'm going to put that in uh, when we get set up. So I pop that in there, and I'm going to do the same thing uh, down here in the excerpt. I'm going to pop it in there as well. And this excerpt basically is what uh, comes up on my site when you look at a list of articles. It's just that first part, not the rest of it. Now, I'm also going to add a featured image. And this is number 119. So I'm going to go to my media library where I spent about, a, I don't know, about an hour doing all of these graphics. And I'm going to type in here 119. 
and I think that that's going to bring it up. I, I numbered, yeah, there it is. I named these files in such a way that the day of the year was in the file name. So I'm going to choose this. I'm going to set the featured image. That's the image that pops up when you go to VO to GoGo. Then I'm going to scroll upwards. I'm going to name this an article. That's going to be the category that it's in. And then in this publish block here, I'm going to not publish this immediately, but I'm actually going to publish this on the, let's see, let's go back to YouTube and find out it's going to be on the 29th. So I'm going to publish this on the 29th, 29th at military time, eight o'clock. So 20 hundred, right? So I'm basically setting up to publish in the future at a particular time. Now, you may get notice of this the next morning because what happens is my mailing list will listen for a new episode and then publish it first thing in the morning. So I want to publish it the night before. And if you've joined my YouTube channel, you get notified at 7.30 when a, when a new video publishes. But for everybody else that's on my mailing list, they get notified of the next morning. So that's what I want to do there. And I'm going to uh, then schedule this. Uh, without some of the information that I need, this is just going to schedule it, get it set up for the next day. So let's go back to the YouTube video while that is, is scheduling. I'm going to go back to the YouTube video and I'm going to click on the edit button for this video. The first thing I'm going to do is when this comes up, right here you see the, uh, the URL for this video, right? It's right here, right there. There you go. So I'm going to copy that. And just so I have it, I'm going to put it in the uh, actual uh, text file that I keep all my notes in. So I'm just going to paste it in there. And I'm going to use this number right here. This is the number of the video. I'm going to use this. I'm going to go back to my blog post, which is right here. And I'm going to replace these X's, which is just a placeholder. I'm going to paste that in. So now, when I update this, I know that when this blog post publishes, it's going to publish with the right video. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I've updated that. There's one more thing that I'm going to need to do. And so to do that, I'm going to actually, uh, okay, it updated right there. And so now I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. And I'm going to go to where it says no captions yet from YouTube. Now, occasionally, YouTube, I'm just going to highlight those words for now. YouTube occasionally will not publish, they won't automatically caption the video. And I have a secondary uh, process for that in case that happens, but it's happened maybe five, six times in the entire time that I've been doing videos. But right now, I just want to highlight that for right now. I'm going to go back over to YouTube, and here's where I'm going to do some changes to the YouTube video. So first of all, I'm okay with this uh, as my uh, uh, thumbnail. I could choose other thumbnails. Um, one thing that I do want to do is I want to go back and copy and paste the URL. This is the actual text that is going to be seen by people when they go to the video on YouTube. So I'm going to go back to the URL, and I'm going to grab this URL. I'm going to copy the link address. Then I'm going to go back to YouTube and I'm going to paste it right in here, right? So now when somebody goes to YouTube, they'll see the actual URL for the blog post. You've probably seen that when you've gone to look at it at, uh, at uh, YouTube, right? But I want people to go to VO to GoGo, so I want to put that in there. Now I'm going to click over to Advanced Settings, and this is still on the Info and Settings screen. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to set the video language to English. And I'm going to go down here and I am going to set the caption certification to this content has never aired on television stations in the U.S. And then I'm going to save the changes. I'm going to wait till it says your changes are being saved. I've got two more things that I need to do. I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to go to the end screen. And on the end screen, that's where those two little things pop up in the, in the, on the side, my face and the frame. Um, so when it comes up, I could add them, uh, manually. I could add them at the end manually, but what I'm going to do, uh, let me wait till this populates to see that, that image comes up. So that's the end of the video right there. And if I preview so it, I basically say a comment, do so if you subscribe to my channel, do so only. Right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import from the previous video, which is one that I did yesterday. 
I'm just gonna import the end screens from that. It speeds up the process a little bit, but I want to adjust the timing. So let's preview and see so what happens. Say, comment, do so if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I pointed right there. So I'm gonna slide this over here. Let's see if that works. Preview it again. Subscribe to my channel, do so over there. Yeah, a little bit earlier. Place. Let's do that a little bit earlier. And then I'm also going to move this to right about there. So let's see how this looks right now. This is the timeline. That's a timeline. And there you go. That's great. So now I'm going to save that. That's all set. And then I have one last thing to do. And that is to get the subtitles. So I'm going to click on the subtitles button. And there it is. Published. English. Automatic. Right there. When I click on that, it's going to bring up the subtitles that YouTube has created by watching the video, listening to the sound, and then using computer learning and artificial intelligence, kind of done its best job of creating the, uh, the, the uh, uh, captions, the closed captions, the, the transcript. So I'm going to go over here to Actions, where I can download the file that has the... Um, that has the captions in it all in a row. And once that's downloaded, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to open it. And you'll see that they're there, but they're kind of separated and they're kind of like not together. And I want them together. So I am pretty skilled at using BB Edit's functions for finding things, replacing things. I know what keyboard and command line and, uh, character equivalents are. So I'm going to show you very quickly what I do. I do a command, which is command F. And what I do is I find two returns in a row. That's going to be between, say, music and the number two. There's two returns in a row. And I'm going to replace that with a placeholder set of characters. Five percentage signs, right? I'm going to replace it all. So now that's been replaced. Now I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to just look for returns, just single returns on every line. And I'm going to replace that with tabs. That's what the backward slash backslash R backslash T is. Backslash R is return. Backslash T is tab. So I'm going to replace all this. And if you don't understand this, this is just for the geeks in the room. I just replaced them all. And so they're all in a row. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find those placeholder characters that I created, the 5% signs and I'm gonna replace them with returns. Watch what happens. When I replace them all, everything's going to be lined up. So what I do now is I copy all of this. I just copy this. I'll go back to my browser, and I have a tab open with a Google Doc. And in this Google Doc, there's the, the, uh, uh, the stuff from yesterday. I'm gonna highlight it all, and I'm gonna get rid of it, and I'm going to paste in the ones from today. All I want, I don't want these first two columns. All I want is this column, and I want just the words. I don't need the words music at the end. So I just shift click to highlight the whole thing. I copy that, and then I go back over to my post. And remember, I had the no captions from YouTube yet? That's going to show up in case YouTube doesn't get captions done by the time it publishes. But in this case, it did as it normally does. I'm going to highlight that and I'm simply going to paste the captions. Whoops. Let's do paste. That's command V. And there you go. There's all the captions pasted in. I'm going to update this. And now the blog post is complete. When the blog post publishes on the 29th of April at eight o'clock at night, everything will be in place. The headline that I chose and I wrote, the body copy that I chose and I wrote, and we can even preview this if we want to, to show what it's going to look like. Now the video won't show up because the video hasn't been published yet. So there's the headline, there's the body copy. This video won't be published for another couple of days, day or so. And then here's all of the episodes. These are all of the uh, episodes and my assistant updates this every day in a little bit separate uh, uh, process. And then here's the YouTube captioning right? So there you go. And then below that is where you guys leave comments. And I hope you do leave comments there. So that's all done. 
We'll go back over here to YouTube, make sure everything's done there. I think everything is done. I'm checking my work just to make sure. Uh, info and settings, that's right. The end screen is correct. Everything's good there. I've got the URL there. That's good. The end screen is correct. Uh, so I think we're done. We're ready to go. If I go back to the videos, uh, you'll see that it's still sitting there waiting to be published. I've got one ahead of it, and that's the one that's going to publish tomorrow. And then the next day, the first one will publish. And then this video that I'm making right now, talk about meta of meta of meta. This video that I'm doing right now is going to publish in two days. You're going to get the follow-up video. And that's about as far ahead as I, I normally go, is a day or two, because I want to stay current in terms of the news and in terms of things that I see. Um, I may get a little ahead of schedule when I get my shoulder surgery, just because I'll probably have a tough time typing. But that's the process. That's what I go through every single time I do a video. It's a lot faster than it took me. It probably was 15, 20 minutes for me to do everything for you now. But I wanted to sort of narrate it as I did it so that you see what happens. And you can see that if I do that over and over and over again every day, I'm going to get really fast at it and really good at it. If I went through the whole process, I could probably get the video prepared and the blog post prepared in less than three or four minutes because it goes that quickly. The process goes that quickly. And again, this wasn't the way it was when I first started. But if you take that first step and then you look for ways to make it better, you look for ways to make it sleeker and without in any way, shape or form impinging on the quality right? Nothing here was, oh, let's cut a corner. Let's do something. We'll do it faster, even though it won't be better. That's that's not the way I want to work. I want to make sure that everything goes uh, really well. And if I can speed it up and keep it really well, that's kind of one of my mantras. Faster, but not less, uh, less exquisite. I have to come up with a phrase for that. Uh, and I will do that. Now, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you uh, saw what I was doing and you you can rewind and you can play it back over again. But if you saw what I was doing and didn't quite understand what I was doing, go ahead, put a comment below, put a question. Uh, please do it on vo to gogo so everybody can benefit from it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on my head there if there's a head there. If not, look for a subscribe button somewhere below the video. And if you want to see the latest video, click on that frame and YouTube will play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow.